I'm Joanna Figueroa from Fig Tree Quilts, and today I wanted to share some about my All Hallows Eve collection for Moda. It's a reprint from the collection that we all fell in love with last year, and we have a couple of new patterns along with the same ones that I wanted to show all at once together that go with All Hallows Eve. The first one is the one that you see right behind me, and that's the Halloween Figs sampler. Let me scoot out of the way. It's a block of the month that you can do in stores, as friendship groups, obviously also on your own. Um, it's a mix of some nice large blocks, a couple little filler ones, and a little bit of chunky applique just to add that vintage touch to it. It's one of my all time favorite samplers, very fun to work on, features all of the colors from All the Hallows Eve. Um, that's kind of our feature pattern with this collection. And the next thing I wanted to show you was the two brand new patterns that we released with this reprint are Halloween Harlequin and Halloween Roses. And the first one, Halloween, Halloween, um, Halloween Harlequin, there's a tongue twister for you, is made with one layer cake. And let me show you, I'm gonna cover myself up when I show you guys these so that you can see them a little bit better. Here is the Harlequin pattern, and there's it's sideways, so you can see a little bit more of it. And this is the block right here, and it's all done with a layer cake and our fun sew and flip method that we use for almost all of our patterns. We've been doing that for as long as we've been in business. Um, it basically avoids bias and uh, unnecessary triangles, gives um, folks the best results, so we really love it. We refer to it as the sew and flip. So that's the Halloween, Halloween. I think I'm just gonna make that word up since I've said it three times now. Um, the next one that we did as a new pattern with this reprint of All Hallows Eve is this pattern called Halloween Roses. And there's a partial close up and let me open it up. There's a little bit more of it. This is probably one of my all-time favorite blocks that we've ever, ever done as a fig tree pattern. It was first released as rose hips. We still have that. It's a larger block and a smaller block option. And then we decided when that went out of print, actually I take that back, we still do have it. We decided to release it as a different and new pattern with a slightly different setting. This is Halloween roses and it's a different size. And this is your block right here. And if you have an eagle eye and you're looking at that quilt, you might notice that it's not exactly the prints from All Hallows Eve because we uh, used a bunch of some of our favorite oranges and blacks and grays from our stash before we had it as an actual pattern. And so um, it's been released as a pattern and it looks like this. And on the cover, you'll see all of the pattern, uh, all of the, the fabrics from All Hallows Eve in this version even though the sample I'm showing you has got some other colors, some other fabrics mixed in. So those are the two brand new ones with the reprint. And then the other popular patterns that go with All Hallows Eve in, is Checkerboard and Stars. It's a bigger quilt, so I'm not even gonna open it up because it's just gonna go everywhere. But this is a fun pattern that's done with a um, honey bun. And if you're not totally familiar or have never worked with a honey bun before, one and a half inch strips, just like a jelly roll, but skinnier, great way to have all of these centers basically pre-cut for you. So all of these centers, the strips you get to use from the honey bun makes this come together real fast. So let me scoot that one out of the way. I don't know if you guys can see the fun quilting on some of these. We'll do a little bit of close-ups on these in a little bit. And the next one up here is, um, in addition to our Halloween figs, this is probably the other most popular pattern in this group. It's called Pumpkins and Cream. So what we did with this pattern is we pulled out, there almost fell over there. There you go. Pulled out all the oranges and all the creams and just a few little spots of the gray, but took out all the black and most of the grays to create kind of this soft feel that's quite different. If you look at the one behind me, the black immediately makes it feel like a whole different group of fabrics. And so 
We took our favorite pumpkin motif and put a few simple blocks in the middle of it. And this pattern can also be done with a layer. So this is yardage, all like I said, all the oranges and creams, but it can also be done with a layer cake and mix all those grays and blacks in. And I believe that we have um, on our blog, it shows you how to do that. If you wanna take this pattern, and basically make it a layer cake pattern. So that was Halloween, sorry, pumpkins and cream. Next up is Midnight Crossing. And this comes in the wonderful Moda boxed kit. Um, obviously you can also just do it on your own without that. This is what it looks like, or half of it looks like right there. A great vintage inspired block as well. Um, the pattern looks like this. That glare, can you guys see that? Um, yardage, great. Um, way to really showcase your fabric because these pieces are fairly big so it really showcases the fabric a lot and that's it for the bigger patterns i feel like we have a couple of little fun ones so we did um a little charm pack pattern that i thought i had right here somewhere oh actually you know what i have one more pattern to show you guys. This is called All Hallows Eve Medallion and it's a medallion quilt. Let's see if I can show you at least half of it so you can kind of see what's in the middle. Are these fun blocks in the center and then it has a flying geese border and then it has a sawtooth border around the outside. And so you build the inside and then you add a couple of these fun borders to really give this quilt a different feel. Let me see if I can try and open it and show you. Even if I can't show you the whole thing, you'll kind of get a better idea of the medallion part. And see if I can not fall over this time. So that's also in the lineup. And then the one I was looking for is this one right here. We did basically a simple charm pack pattern called Pumpkin Trio. So the whole quilt is one charm pack and you can basically put in a little bit of any kind of green you have for these little leaves on the sides. And then there's a little bit of additional fabric for the outside. It's called Pumpkin Trio and the whole thing can be made with, or the whole pumpkins and all the inside part can be made with one charm pack. So that's that on those. One last thing I wanted to show you. So with this collection, it came up with a group of wolves. We call them trick or treat wolves. And we partnered with Weeks Dye Works to make these, to put these together. Let's see if I can show that to you guys like that. Moto carries them. And with that bundle, you can basically make this fun pumpkin truck I do believe we called it Harvest Pumpkin Truck. And let me see if I can bring that up closer. It's all of the wools for all of the large scale applique and then a little bit of one of my favorite prints from the collection for the back and basically any kind of a gray for the outside part. So that's a fun little wool project to put in there. And let me show you some of these goodies up close. So I just wanted to show you guys some of the patterns up close. So this is the sampler block of the month. It's in a big envelope and it has all of the directions for the sampler on the inside. And then our two brand new ones that I talked about are Halloween roses and Halloween Harlequin. And that's what they look like. And if you've never seen one of our patterns opened up, there's a full color booklet this with all the diagrams and everything that you need to make the quilt and then this is our some of our other ones all hallows eve medallion and pumpkins and cream and midnight crossing the other ones that we showed you the wool one harvest pumpkin truck as well as the charm pack one called pumpkin trio so, and again, all of these are full color inside directions, diagrams for the quilts themselves. Um, wanted to show you guys up close.
couple of things real quick. This is a honey bun with all of the one and a half inchers. If you want to compare it to a jelly roll, here's a jelly roll. So jelly roll is two and a half inches, honey bun, one and a half. And then of course, the collection comes with layer cakes and charm packs and mini charms. I can, and that's the little fat eight bundle. And then of course, the big old standard bundle. And I wanted just to show you some of the cap sets real up close in case you haven't been able to see the collection in person. So this is the orange set, with all of the orange prints in there with my favorite floral on the top. And this is the faded soft black. So it's, it's black, it just kind of has this faded appearance to it. And those are all those prints. Creams, wouldn't be a fig tree collection without your creams. There's a great, this one you can't see very well because it's a tone on tone. So maybe you can see that on the camera, it's a hound's tooth. And then the other patterns in there. So that great floral in here comes in both the orange and in that soft gray color. And then last but certainly not least, it's a soft gray with the prints that go with that all the way through. And last but not least, I wanted to show you up close what the wonderful wool bundle looks like. It's got the light cream and the darker cream, two tones of orange, two tones of gray, and the black. And those are all the wools that you need to make this fabulous little harvest truck wall hanging, in addition to a little bit of background and border. Thanks so much.